Alright, welcome back to another web development video where I show you how to create modern websites using HTML5, CSS3, and a little bit of JavaScript. In this video, I want to show you uh, something called uh, sticky section headers. So, when you're scrolling, here's our section header here. When you're scrolling, these things are going to stick to the top. And then once you hit the second one, bam, the second one's going to stick to the top and the third one. So normally in the past, this used to be uh, done with JavaScript and you'd have to, um, I don't know, you'd have to do some scrolling, you know, you had to wait and watch the scrolling and then you'd have to check the top and you had to compare the top of the section to, you know, where the user scrolled on the page and then add a class and remove a class and, <coughs> excuse me, there's a, there's a whole thing about it, but CSS uh, has made this ridiculously easy with the position sticky element and so that's what we're going to cover in this. So if all you know is CSS, this is a very, what used to be a relatively complex behavior that might have required a plugin and it is very easy now. And the beautiful part is that instead of making this position fixed at the top, and then having to deal with this content moving up because this has been taken out of the flow of the document. This now stays in the flow of the document. All of your original margins and padding on all of the content stays in line. So this section here does not get taken out of the flow of the document. It's position relative. Even though it's position sticky, it's acting like a relative, uh, relatively positioned element, which is a huge win. Um, you can use this with CSS Grid and lots of other things, uh, but I'm just going to show you with a, just a straight uh, block section here. So let's just go ahead and uh, sort of do our CSS real fast. So let's look at our section header, and what I want that to be is a background of black, you know, dark gray, and then um, I think that's all we'll do for now. Oh, actually, maybe a padding. Let's do a padding of one rim. And then for our H1 element, we're going to say margin of zero, and that should shrink that down a little bit. And let's also make this white so we can see it. And so now we have our sections. Section one, section two, section three. Now this is, uh, this is what your default behavior is going to be. So if, if there's a browser out there that does not have the position sticky, it's just going to look like this. So everything is going to be just fine. Everything is relatively positioned. Nothing is out of place. And then uh, let's go to our article. And let's just put a little padding on here. And then let's also make it a maximum width of 700 pixels. Uh, so that when we come out, it doesn't get crazy wide on us. Okay, so again, this is what the default behavior is going to be. You could put the max uh, width on these sections too. Um, you know, we could do that. We could say the section uh, maximum width is 1200 pixels. That way we get a max width on our sections and on our our other parts. I don't like that quite as much, so I'm not going to do that, but you could do something like that. You could even make this a little bit closer, so maybe a thousand. So that it's a little bit closer to, there's not as much gap here. So however you want to do that is fine. Um, Alright, now all we have to do is apply a couple of lines of code and the magic happens. So first we're going to come to our section header and we're going to say position sticky <coughs> and you can see that it doesn't do anything because uh, we need to, it's sort of like a, a relatively positioned fixed element so um, it's acting like a relatively positioned element until we put a top or a bottom. So if we were to say top of zero then that means when the top of the element gets uh, to zero, uh, when the element gets to the top of the page, essentially, 
then it's going to stick to the page. So you can see now uh, section one is sticking. It wasn't sticking before. Uh, you can see it's gone. So it's relatively positioned here. And then this top zero takes it out of the flow of the document. If you wanted that to be a different number, then you can see that when it it's got a one rim, so it moves it down to one rim. So this could be 200 pixels. So you can move the top. So it's acting like an absolutely positioned element, or it's acting like a uh, a fixed element. Okay, but it's still inside it's still sort of relatively positioned because you can see that the space that it's vacated is still being accounted for. So sort of a weird, interesting new thing that's happened here. But if we put it at zero, then that means it's going to stick to the top. There's no offset. So it's position sticky. Uh, it's relatively positioned uh, according to our document flow. And then the magic happens when you get to the end of this section. So as long as you keep it inside of a section, what happens is it'll stay sticky until it gets to the end of its section. And then once it gets to the end of its section, whoop, it goes up. And because all of our section headers are positioned sticky, uh, they all stick in the same place in the same way. So you can see how that works. So once we get to the end of the section, this loses its stickiness this is sticky and then it sticks right to the top and then we go to section three same thing bam all right so now we have these section one two three headers none of this is javascript it takes two lines of css to add position sticky to your elements now there are some sort of tricky things uh, that are going to happen along the way you might need to add if you're having a problem with the stickiness you might need to add uh, whatever the parent element of this sticky item is. You might have to say position relative. So I've come across that a few times. So if you're having, if it's a little weird, a little wonky, and it's not behaving right, <coughs> just go to the parent element of the sticky element and see if that helps uh, to add position relative to that element. So I've found that to be the case uh, a couple of times. Alright, this is super easy. I hope that you can employ this. I don't know if you can uh, employ this on a table or something like that, which is where you might normally see it. But definitely for web page sections like this, you can add a little sticky element, uh, a sticky header as you roll down through. And this could be anything. It can be a photograph. It can be um, text. It can be any element that you add the position sticky to. We just happen to be using it on the header itself. All right. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And um, you'll get notifications either in the YouTube app if you have it on your device, or you'll get a notification uh, in your inbox. Now, uh, in order to receive notifications every single time I post something, I'm told that you have to click the bell. So you can't just subscribe, but you have to click the notification bell uh, on the channel, or it should be somewhere right over by the subscribe. <coughs> and so if you want to receive these every single time, I usually do one or two uh, videos a week. And, um, you know, just I love to have new subscribers. I often will chat with the new subscribers uh, on my channel in the community tab too. So uh, ask polls and, you know, get your feedback. Uh, hopefully this is, is something that you can implement today. It's super easy and not difficult anymore with the CSS position sticky. Uh, so get out there and use it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.